was summoning the holy carpet stain. So when I was little, me and my two cousins, Chindana and Unoni, would often go to this indoor playground thing called the monkey cage. Basically, it had all sorts of super high things you can climb on with safety nets and everything so you all be safe and those inflatable trampoline things. And we would often go there and just spend the entire afternoon there playing. The only thing is our way of playing was kind of different than the way other kids would play. We would always bring our gadgets, which would vary from something we made ourselves, like a magic one made out of a chopstick to an actual spy gadget that I would have gotten from my mom from the internet. But the thing was, as we went through there as our little club, other kids started to notice our peculiarness and somehow got creepily invested into this. Every time we went there, at some point, everyone else who was there, because it was kind of big, was pretty big, would know who we were. And every time we went by, we would hear whispering all around us from, because there were different levels of playing things, basically, because you could climb up and down. So basically, if we would walk, we would hear, like, in a 360 degree, Degree. Little kids whispering, there they are, there they are, they're here, there they are, there they are, they're here. Needless to say, that was rather creepy. And it would happen every time. Our parents would often be like, what are you guys constantly doing? Because every time we were walking there, you, you kids would stop and be like, there they are. So yeah, that was kind of weird. But the most holy of our traditions there was summoning the holy carpet stain, which we called Stainy. Stainy the holy stain. Yeah, deal with it. No, but basically, at some point we would always get ice cream, all right? You know Smarties, basically these little M&Ms, but not M&Ms because it's a different brand. Those made ice cream here. It was basically just normal ice cream, but within there there were like these little Smarties and actually, and you would actually have to push it up using the stick underneath it because the stick was like this hollow cylinder, which was also then filled with Smarties. Basically, when we ate those, we went to the bathroom and cleaned them and we would fill up these little cylinders with water. Then we would go behind the air trampoline cushion thing and we would sit in a circle at the exact same place and we would pour the water in the middle until there was like a sweat stain on the carpet. This was our Holy Spirit guide named Stainy. In Dutch, this would be Flekje. But the thing is, we didn't start with that right away. It was like, it had to be the right timing. So we would play and play and at some point we were all like, it's time. And we would ask for ice cream and at some point we actually had some, you know, those things you used to inject like shots but without a needle. Like for example, when you have this fluid medicine that you need to give to an animal in their mouths or to kids and you, of course, you don't have a needle for that. Basically just for fluids. So we got a lot of those. And later on, my cousins actually made these ritual things like magic wands and art all around. And at some point there was, would be this entire ritual, not just pouring water there. We would build like this shrine, have magic wands, have like magic spells we made up and they would pour water and there would be this standing would be like, Stainy has returned! And then every time we had like this problem because we always played like everything, uh, strange things, or when kids started stalking us again, because that happened as well, we would return to Stainy and ask him for his, his wisdom. We did this for years and years and years. Do you know what happens when at a remote place that isn't really clean because it was behind the jumping cushion thing, there's water poured on the exact same spot on the exact same carpet for years? Stainy went from being a water stain to being a greenish, moldish stain. So basically when my little sister grew up because she's quite a bit younger than we are, she at some point was old enough to go with us. So we introduced her to the stainy ritual and we taught her the whole thing. Later on, we were too old to get in there. We went to high school and everything, so we didn't go there anymore. However, However, the stainy ritual did not die out because my little sister went there with her friends at the time and they would do the stainy ritual as well. She actually told me that the stain of mold had grown out over the carpet, leaving this gigantic stain of mold right behind the jumping cushion. And I'm pretty sure at some point they had to replace the carpet at that point because it just got way too gross. Okay, and guys, one last thing before I go. Long live stainy, the holy stain. Oh, I did. Oh, that's a lot. I thought, I'm wearing this to a party. Whoa! Hey, all life that are here. Uh, I still have to pose for a thumbnail with this. I really hope you like this new story time video. Please let me know down below in the comments. Did you have any of these weird things when you were a kid? Please let me know because I would love to know. And if you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe to this channel. I post stories to get to know each other a little bit better like this on Saturday. And on Wednesday, I post comedy sketches or vlogs or cinematics or a combination between the two to entertain all of that to let people know that it's awesome and okay to be yourself and to be unique and you shouldn't let anyone change who you are because you are perfect the way you are. So if you agree, you can of course subscribe. But above all, I really hope you like this video and like I always say, just be unique, you're awesome the way you are.